justice social workers are essential for making community justice work with their detailed knowledge of the offender, the circumstances, the range of custodial and non-custodial options available. Yet we hear that in a significant number of cases where social workers recommend non-custodial alternatives, the courts are, however, choosing instead to impose a prison sentence. Now, bearing in mind the independence of the judiciary, does the Lord Advocate recognise this situation and what is her response to it? Lord Advocate. So I, I, I don't uh, have any knowledge of the situation that Mr Rennie has uh, raised. And if you'd like to uh, raise that with me directly after today, I can meet with him and talk it through. Uh, and I think the point to be made, though, is that decisions in and around ultimately bail and uh, conviction and sentencing is a matter for the court and that the, uh, our judiciary in this country are independent as is the prosecution service in respect to which I am Lord Advocate. So these are separate roles that we have and beyond that uh, perhaps an open discussion with Mr Rennie would be beneficial in these matters.